Just past the Malta Mediterranean Marine Park is a little talked about complex called the White Rocks Ghost Town in the Pembroke region of Malta. Information online seems to contradict itself, but from what I could glean, the town was built as accommodation for British forces in the 1960s and known as St. Patrick's Officers Married Quarters. The resort consisted of high quality housing for army personnel and their families, in the form of four bedroom housing and large flats. When the UK military left Malta, it was handed to the Maltese authorities in 1979 and the housing was then adapted into providing accommodation for language students visiting Malta during the summer months until 1995. There have been various attempts to turn the complex into a holiday resort during the 1990s and 2000s, but each time the plans have fallen through. These days the buildings have fallen deeply into disrepair, but have been taken over and used as a massive art canvas by the graffiti artists of Malta. Malta has been a continual tourist haven over the last few decades, concentrating more on the older generations as well as families. Due to this, there have been less and less places for the graffiti artists of Malta to showcase their talents. To actually get to the town itself is pretty haphazard, especially for those who don't drive. My trip consisted of walking down the far lane of a motorway after getting off the bus. This took about 10 minutes with cars speeding by me until I reached the slip road for the complex. The road has been covered with a roadblock to deny cars from entry to the site. This is due to the general disrepair of the buildings and the Maltese government seeing this as a health hazard to any visitors to the site. Once passing this, you have to walk across a large field to enter the site itself. The entrance from the direction of the aquatic park opens up into a large swimming pool, empty of water and several large buildings that have covered head to toe in massive works of art. As you can see there is a wide variety of art going throughout the complex in its entirety from extremely graphic and detailed designs with huge creativity to the standard penis on the wall as there always has to be. As you can see the buildings are fairly damaged with a lot of rubble and people have obviously disused the buildings over the last few decades. Quite often on a second or third floor as you're walking through, you have to watch your step as you walk through a doorway and suddenly there's no floor, um, allowing you to fall several floors below. It's an amazing sight unlike anything I'd ever really seen before. Just the sheer scale of the complex, so many buildings were such a large slice of land 
as well as the coastal view available from each of the domiciles. It's crazy to think this has been left for so long without any real purpose. Seeing the creativity flourish in Malta with the massive paintings going across a whole four-storey building is incredible. The site is obviously also used by probably teenagers looking to get drunk and homeless people also, as you can see from the kind of rubbish scattered around the site. But it's definitely somewhere I'd recommend visiting in Malta if you are travelling there. There have, yet yeah, again, been plans brought up at the end of last year about repurposing the site and turning it into a massive sports complex. Despite this being good for the tourism in Malta, there are already so many hotel and sports complexes around the town that it seems a waste to destroy all the artwork that has flourished within and outside these walls. Desencajado 